favorite human beings of all time, Dr. Sarah Madigan. Mm. She is coming on to share with you her journey in the volcano. And I wrote a little blurb here, but really I'm just going to let her say it because no one can say it better than she can, to be honest. You're in for a treat of an amazing voice, like some Mm -hmm. amazing energy, so much love, so much. You're going to be entertained, emotionally like moved. Just, I'm so excited. So this is one of those instances where a story can really change everything for you. And like we said, no one can say it better than Sarah can. So we're bringing her on spotlight. We're so excited to see you. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. Can you see me? Hi guys. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you. Come on. Thank you, Sarah. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm just so grateful. I was just playing on the beach with my five-year-old and I just was so grateful that I get to come and talk to you all. Aww. And I just want to do Biscraft again. There was like maybe like five other people just like, we just want to freaking do it again because it's so yeah. good. <laughs> So yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys a bit about my story. So I'm Sarah Madigan. I'm here in Scotland. I am the leader of what I call the Joy Movement, um, which is a movement in memory of my son Finley, um, who he had, he was diagnosed with a terminal illness, um, content warning, in um, in 2015. And so we spread so much love and joy and healing in his memory. Now that I found my purpose, right? But it wasn't always this glorious. I'm the person in the comments that was talking about, um, yeah, making like $320,000 last year. Pretty freaking good, right? And it was dollars actually, but still pretty good. So rewind a few Sorry, years. Okay. Rewind a few years. Um, and yeah, when I, when I first met these guys, Friggin' hell, I mean, honestly, immediately, I literally said out loud, I, I mean, I signed up to this thing and I thought, oh, I might not even do it, and I, but I did it. And as, as soon as I saw them, I was, I said out loud to myself, I was in the back room in my old house and I said out loud, at freaking last, at fucking last, I said. <laughs> Cause I was just so pleased. I was a clinical psychologist in the National Health Service at the time. And I was just so freaking pleased to, meet people who were so enthusiastic and they were so full of life and they swore and they were loud and they wore crazy clothes and I was like oh yes I was so bored of the sterile environment that I worked in as a clinical psychologist it just wasn't aligned with my soul anyway some of you might be where I was when it came to the end of end of the course and during the pitch I, I was triggered to fuck and I was like oh I don't know I don't know about this. I thought, you know, maybe they just wanted my money all along, right? And it's all right to actually want people's money. It doesn't mean that you don't care about them, right? (laughs) I want my clients' money, but too freaking right, because what I offer is amazing, right? And it's the same with Kate and Rosie, right? So just to put in context, I was experiencing really crippling anxiety when I met these guys. I was borrowing money to pay the mortgage um it was it yeah it wasn't good times in lots and lots of ways and it made no sense to sign up to a course that cost thousands of pounds thousands of dollars and my spirit would not let me say no right so i kept saying i kept thinking no i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it and every time i thought about it a butterfly appeared which is my my like connection sign to my son finley and it literally felt like Finley was just guiding me. He was like, Sarah, you freaking need to do this. Don't make a decision from a place of fear, make a decision from a place of love. And I knew in my spirit that these were the people to lead me and to guide me. And I am so freaking glad that I didn't ignore that call, right? Cause I'll go on to tell you about what transformed for me. And the money is like, great, but that is not the best part of the whole thing, right? So. The best part of the whole thing is the freedom from my shame about anxiety, right? So I literally used to feel so ashamed of how anxious I was. I was a clinical psychologist and I could help other people with anxiety, but I felt like I couldn't manage my own anxiety. I was so fearful of people's judgments of seeing me, you know, seeing me nervous. I had a crippling fear of blushing. I'm proud to say now, I feel like a little bit nervous now, I don't have any fear about that. I have zero shame. 
I don't give a fuck if I blush. Why would I care about that? I adore myself, right? And it's through working with these guys that I've been gifted that relationship with myself, right? It's through being coached in a group setting by these guys that I freed myself from this story, this identity that I developed, that I was this like anxious person. They just wouldn't see that part of me. They just saw my power. And I was like, coach me on my anxiety. And they were like, no. And I was like, yeah, coach me on my freaking anxiety. And they were like, no, I just, wait, I don't even see that part of you. And I, I'd had therapy for years where we just like freaking focused on the freaking anxiety all the time. Oh, let's talk about the anxiety. Let's talk about the thing that you don't want. And I met these guys and everything transformed. So yes, I have gone on to build a really successful business. I am sitting in the third floor of a home. The last time I came on guys and spoke to you, it was dark, but I can show you my sea view. So I've manifested, I, I dreamt of a house with a sea view for years and years and years and years. And I'm freaking here now. So I'm gonna show you the sea view. Hang on a minute. You can see Edinburgh in the distance. So there's the view from my office. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely glorious. And there's a really strong connection to my son um, because of the sea. And so it's just, and I'm, I coach now because I did this craft and coach. Really. These guys taught me how to be the most powerful coach. And I coach people connected to the expansiveness of the sea and the expansiveness within all of my clients, right? So like I said, it's great that I'm able to have a successful business that earns a lot of money. I've got a team and I'm able to pay them, which is glorious. But the main thing is this freedom from, from anxiety, right? The freedom from shame about who I am. And aside from that, yeah, like I said, this self-love, but also my relationship with my husband, right? So my husband, I don't know if anyone knows David G. Um, my husband has just been in California um, meditating every day with David G. These guys freaking like picked him up from the airport, scooped him up, took him to their house, like loved him. And they're just freaking great people. Is that a sign for me to stop? Do you want me to, do you want me to try and finish? Okay, no, no, sorry, anyway. The answer we're talking about Neil, that's all. But one of the best things is that genuinely, and it was a bit like what Kit said, Kit said something along the lines of, you know, when you prioritize your needs and really look after yourself, that's when you're the biggest gift to your loved ones. So this is one of the biggest shifts for me and Neil through Kit and Rosie, is that now my partner no longer subjugates his needs. He doesn't like put us all first, like a, a freaking saint and then feel resentful and then it's a freaking shit show he's like i'm going to i'm going to freaking california for nine nights and i'm like yeah you are but that i freaking love that and i have freaking put the bins out twice this week i've put the bins out twice i've never put the bins out in my life i put the bins out <laughs> twice and i've been empowered as like a parent, a solo parent for, you know, nine nights. And he's had the time of his life releasing grief, connecting to his meaning and his purpose. And so, but genuinely, even before Neil's been like, and it's really sexy when someone honors their needs. It's really freaking, it's such a turn on, right? And, but it's not just that, it's all of the other things that these guys taught us about boundaries, about nonviolent communication, all of, and we get to model to our little boy, <laughs> people are laughing at the bins, we get to model to our little boy, compassionate, loving ways of communicating. So it's actually that, and the freedom from anxiety, and just the permission slip that these two humans gave me to freaking be myself. I'd never had it. I used to be so ashamed of my unadulterated enthusiasm until I met these guys. And now that's my zone of genius. That's how I just operate in the world. I don't give a fuck if that's annoying to anyone because it's not about them, it's about me and I allow that. So I've just got so, so much to thank these guys for. All of my dreams, you know, I, we bought the camper van. I should have really put money aside for tax, but the first time I earned a big amount of money, I was like, yeah, let's get a camper van. <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. I just was someone who didn't have money that suddenly had money. And it takes a while to... Oh, to we understand. Those, we understand you what know that's what to like. do, right? But this is what I will say, and then I'm going to tie up and hand back to these guys. But what I would say is, now I invest like tens and tens of thousands of pounds and it doesn't even scare me. The scariest investment I made 
was the first one with these guys because I'd never taken out a loan. I'd never invested. I didn't have the money, but I got a loan out from the bank and I freaking knew I had to do it. And I did it. I missed all of the bonuses. Don't do that. And like the day before the course started, I was like, I'm in. And I was messaging these guys and I was like, I'm in. Right. But here's the thing that I would say to you. And I really mean, imagine, imagine if I had not, imagine if I'd listened to fear and it so easily could have happened. And I hadn't have made that freaking investment. I wouldn't be sitting here with my house for the sea view. My relationship with my husband, if I still had it, would be shit. And we'd be modeling these passive aggressive, awful things to, to our little boy, right? And so my, I'm pleading with you, if in your spirit, you want to work with these guys, don't freaking ignore that. Don't make a decision from a place of fear. Make it from a place of what is possible. Make it from your spirit, right? Make a decision from that place and there's no way that you will regret it. You are in freaking safe hands with these two and in the most inspiring hands that you could ever be in. And it's not just these guys, their team as well is absolutely magical. So thank you guys for being the most inspiring, wonderful mentors and leaders. I send these guys private thank you messages all the time sporadically just because i'm so in tune with my gratitude for them and i always will be i've got a lot to thank these guys for thank you kitten rosie i love you thank you thank you, thank you thank so you. much wow can we just take a moment in the chat and send sarah some love so she can read what you guys are writing and what did that story do for you how did that story empower you she Aww. is such a beautiful light you're such a beautiful light in this world and i thank it has you. been one of the biggest honors of our career to see you grow and transform and thrive so much over the years. Honestly, like the gratitude between all of us just goes back and forth constantly. Mm. We're always sending each other messages back and forth. And she was, she meant to send me some tea from Scotland and I meant to send her something through Neil, just like he's a pack mule or something and it didn't work out, but like, but we just want to send We just want to like send each other gifts and love and gratitude. And this has been, when did you join? Was it was like three years ago. Not yeah, so hardly any time at all, actually. It's absolutely yeah. not. It's not even three years. I think it's more like two years, which is yeah. crazy. Or maybe um, three years, two or three years, yeah. Who, who, who counts time in the pandemic? Nobody. So exactly. anyway, <laughs> love you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Thank love you, you guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.